So Martin, we're now for six days out here in the wilderness of Peru and uh, we did this huge project with the guys. We didn't know what would be coming up and we didn't know whether everything would work out like that. But now after just four days of flying, we did this massive area. So like, I'm actually curious, how many pictures did we actually took for RGB? Because we did RGB and LiDAR and doing multispectral. Yeah, well actually we took about 30,000 images 30,000 images. Actually, we have been flying two big areas, two big areas. All that was done beyond visual line of sight. And the first area is about 3,600 hectares, which we covered in 12 RGB flights, actually. Um, operating from early morning, after the sun is in the right angle, until late, late afternoon. And we did a second area with 1,800 hectares from a different takeoff and landing position. Um, All together, as I said, 30,000 images. Wow, that's amazing. I saw you guys were quite busy the whole time. Were there any difficulties in that? Because you seem to just being relaxed, but it's obviously with all the trees around here, probably hard even to take off and land. Yeah, actually it seems easy, but there are a few challenges. Uh, one challenge is of course the limited space for operation. So we are surrounded by big trees and trees much higher than European trees are. So you have to watch out for high trees like more than 50 meters or up to 60 meter trees. So that was the most uh, complicated part of it. But we found a nice corridor flying out of the forest and departing and coming back from the same direction. And it actually worked out perfect. It's so easy. Well, that's amazing. Well, I'm pretty sure we're gonna use those 30,000 pictures, stitching them together with uh, pics for the E and then um, yeah, using them for our conservation project out here, like it's a big part of uh, our transparency we want to bring out uh, to our donors. So this is very important. So we are really thankful that you guys came here and helped us. And uh, well, it's it's amazing to see the Trinity flying. It's uh, it's even better than any videos you see before. Yeah, and you name it, you name it. The challenge after flying all that is having 30,000 images, which are exactly geolocated. So we are using a base station on the rooftop, which we installed here at the lodge. And uh, we will have 30,000 geotech images and it's not an easy task to, mer to mosaic them all together for a big auto mosaic. So, so we are happy to work there with Pix4D and they have a fantastic new software, the Pix4D Matic. And I'm, I, I'm really impressed about the speed we can process 30,000 images. It's really sorted out with this new piece of software. We can fly a huge project. It's awesome. It's really awesome for all our customers using the Trinity. F90 Plus with this long endurance and these many images. And we can even mosaic the multispectral images. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And I guess it will help us a lot, like protecting the this whole area. So this, all, like seeing all the technologies out here in the forest working perfectly was amazing. Because, you know, you go into the jungle, everything, something is like not going like planned, but everything worked out pretty well. And that's like, we're pretty amazed by, by the technology. So, uh, well, thank you very much for joining our expedition here for that and you really helped like bringing us forward on protecting even more land out here. Yeah, thank you very much for having us here. It was a pleasure to work for Wilderness International and with you together, great team, uh, thank you very much.